Hi there, Kawa here. It's been a while since we have done a uh, budget team. Uh, so today we're going back to that. Uh, it's really basic. I know it's running two super rares, you know, Roshi and uh, Naruto. Uh, but people who have been playing the game for a good while should have definitely pulled their Roshi and Naruto by now. Um, Omoi also, he is just a simple rare from the Lightning Treasure. Uh, but if you don't have him, I don't suggest you waste the Seal Scrolls trying to go for him. You'll eventually pull him. He's, he's one of the rares, so you're either going to hit him or you can hit Samui. And yeah, it's um, a relatively cheap team to put together. Um, but you know, as I always say, you need more power than anything. It's not about how shiny your unit is. It's how well you use your units and um, how much power you have. So this team here is really basic. It's a really simple concept and it's a kind of a classic in my opinion. Uh, this team works on um, really three layers uh, in the sense that you have the primary DPS here as Naruto, uh, the Chroma Cloak one, literally just as good as a six path one. Um, and without the cost attached to it. Uh, Roshi here serves as the secondary DPS. Uh, he serves as the secondary DPS, especially because his chase uh, hits super hard. Uh, and uh, the issue of you know where it requires a 30 hit combo is a non-factor because Naruto's uh, mystery alone causes uh, a 30 hit combo with no problem for you. And uh, he scales also on defense, though uh, though the issue is that uh, not everyone always does you know just physical attacks. So you have to be a little bit careful when it comes to Roshi, especially now that Gamariki is around. Uh, if you know that your opponent has a Gamariki, you should definitely try to kill or you know immobile the. Uh, main right away so that they can't keep stacking the Gamariki on you. Once the main is out of the picture and the Gamariki is not shredding your resistance, Roshi really doesn't fear anything. And he also, you know, scales uh, his resist uh, not his resistance. He scales his defense and his ninjutsu so that this mystery and not the mystery, <laughs> I'm just jumbling words today. Uh, so his, this chase of his actually hits harder and harder. And then he also heals himself and he's immune to debuffs. Uh... As for the main, you can use Earth main with this team. You just drop the two heals and these passes that I'm using, and instead you would just take the uh, Chakra Wall, the you know the Line Shield, uh, the Shield passive. I personally would take for the Chase the Primary Lotus, and uh, I would take the Pose of Duel, the one where if you have a shield you get extra damage. And then for the final uh, passive, I would take Steel Body, so he has super armor. The main reason you do that uh, is so that it's not, so that they can't target him for mysteries like that. Like they can't combo him. So all the targeting has to be focused on the Roshi, because if you go after like Earth Main, if I'm assuming I was Earth Main with super armor, you can't move him. Uh, Omoi would dodge any mystery you throw at him. Naruto would dodge any mystery you go throw at him. So if you want full damage, you have to go for Roshi. And, you know, Roshi doesn't mind. He likes to take damage. Because he just gets stronger, and he's already immune to debuffs, so he's not affected. Uh, with Water Main, it's a little more tricky because you have to rely on the Substitution Jutsu to uh, protect yourself. But it's still one of those, it's not 100% safe for them to uh, try to target her. And uh, the thing here is, we put Omoi here. Uh, he's here for a definite reason. I don't put units into my team without reasons. So, Omoi's purpose here is also a threefold uh, thing. He provides support to the main because his mystery removes debuffs and you know, keeps them immune for a turn on, swords, uh, on Swordsman. So, when his clones are not there anymore, only him and Water Main will be the only swordsman there, so he'll always shield her and always remove her debuffs. And in addition to the fact that he would dodge any mystery that comes at his way, 
and uh, he's also an alliance unit, so you get the benefit of Karama Naruto giving him his uh, immunity. So this is like a three layer thing that I'm doing here. Uh, they all synergize with each other. It's a very basic team. Omo here is very flexible. You don't have to use him. And uh, Roshi here is also very flexible. Uh, I'm just keeping it to a budget right now. Uh, if I was not on a budget team, this will probably be Edo Itachi or it would be uh, Hashirama, Edo Hashirama. And uh, Omo would probably but well, Omoi can still stay, but you know, there's, there's like a lot of different things I can use. Um, I'm also using the King of Hell, so I'm staying within my air quotes budget. <laughs> because I know not everybody has uh, Gamariki yet. Uh, but I'm pretty sure most people have the King of Hell. Because if you've been playing long enough already, and you like pulled your Karama Naruto and your Roshi, you should have your King of Hell already. Um, if you don't, then um, if you have Gamariki or any other like high combo chase, uh, not chase summon, uh, those work just fine. Uh, I don't think this opponent's very strong. No. So when playing this team, you have to be careful when you do the boys. Um, the street is, uh, you know, the clones are there, he might accidentally uh, shield one of the clones instead of shielding uh, one of them. Like right now, you have a 75% chance to land the uh, shield, but as you know, I don't need it right now, there's no reason to do it. Also, this uh, team, it chases onto itself uh, because Omoi has a high chance of causing the repulse. And, you know, Naruto obviously chases his own mystery with no problem. Uh, another thing that you can consider here is, um, instead of taking the healing tips like I did, uh, you can take, uh, the Neurotoxin from Chaos, if you feel that your chaos, uh, your is is high enough to pull it off. I only took the healing tip because it's the more generic thing that people will most likely take uh, in the event that they can uh, crit the enemy. Alright, let me just keep the shield on. So I'm really just trying to stay within the confines of uh, what I deem is budget. And, you know, I'm avoiding taking certain passives because, you know, I definitely would be able to pull it off because I feel like my crit is high enough that I can leisurely take the Neurotoxin even though she's on position 3 and I'll still get a good rate of chaos. In. But, you know, not everybody's in the same boat as me, so uh, I'm trying to show what it would look like if you were playing it more uh, low-key. And also, if you were using... Um, Hashirama, Edo Hashirama, um, you would take the Sage mode instead, so that you know, she, uh, me will get healed by Hashirama. Alright, so... As seen that the only person we really can hit here is... Well, we hit two people. We hit the wind main and we hit Yamato. But I see no reason to hit the wind main. Is yes, we know she has uh, Dancing Fetus, but at the same time, she definitely has Flower Guard. So, we should just hit this Yamato, CC him. <laughs> And then see how much damage Roshi puts out. Also, yeah, um, I think I mentioned it already. If you have a Gamariki, definitely use Gamariki. Don't use King of Hell like I am. Because you know, Gamariki shredding resistance on people uh, will cause Roshi's chase to be extremely hard.
Um, huh. They're too far away. Yet they're in front of me. Interesting. Oh, uh, before I also forget, we have a um, poll going on right now uh, in regards to the Susano Sasuke poll that we put out earlier in the week. Uh, just need people to give me their opinions and let me know. Should I still go for his uh, frag to get the book? Or should I just ignore it and pick up the uh, frags of Hakuzu along with the charm packs? I have no issue with picking up the uh, Sasuke frags. It's just, you know, we all know... Well, we, whoever saw the video already seen that he doesn't do really any damage. So, um... We may want to avoid it, but you know, if everybody agrees that I should get it, I have no issue with that. So this person is 300k. Oh hey, Rhea is 300k now. So the other great part about this team is it's not hyper reliant on the team. They're really just here to help out. They're not really needed here. We're really trying to kill her. Uh, I can't remove the sleep, but I can remove the current debuffs on her and give her a shield. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And you know, that's gonna keep her from just straight up dying right now. And you know, with three of them being in you, we don't really care about you are hitting us. He... He said it? Oh, he's probably using the Secret Jutsu buff, and he probably killed Old Moy's clone. I wasn't really paying attention, so he definitely probably killed Old Moy's clone, which set that off. So you do have a note that uh, the setup with Water Main, uh, Rochi doesn't get to go off until round 4. Uh, it's not really that big of an issue because you, know, you want Rochi to gain some of the beefiness before he starts going off. Because Without it, he doesn't hit that hard, but after a few rounds of a beatdown, taking beatdowns, he hits extremely hard. But I personally prefer his uh, chase more than anything. Oh, crap, did I take Shadow? Yeah, I think I did, yeah. That was an accident. I really want to click him. Alright, we're so do this ahead of time and see who heroes hits. Okay, so that was the two ideal hits where I wanted it. I think Omoi is Oh, you know, unless Omoi decided to <laughs> hit uh, Asuma and CC him. Alright, let's heal up. Uh, Omoi is just gonna dodge his Asuma, and Water Mane is fine. And she's gonna dodge herself, so. 
Oof, that hurt. But lucky that's pure physical and uh, Roshi doesn't care too much about that pure physical damage. Oof. Alright, so here comes Haruzin again. This is gonna hurt. Oh, I die. I think Roshi's dead. Uh, barely alive. It's looks like it's because he still held his Asuma buff. Actually, no, he couldn't have still had his Asuma buff. Did I hit him with knife and poison? Oops. Come on, Roshi. You can do this. Nope. <laughs> Alright, uh... Naruto versus Hiruzen. Um... Naruto should win? We have the slight advantage that we have poison on him right now. And then, you know, we got a little bit of ignite going too. So, we have a slight advantage. But that's also always going to be a problem if I don't. Uh, I probably should have went for Sasori. Probably. Yeah, but then I won't be taking this beat down right now. Oof, that's really bad. And for those who are in the crowd, I already can hear you. You'll be saying, hey, if you, you're using Six Path Naruto, you'll be healing right now. Uh, there was two targets, I'm not going to be healing that much. <laughs> Just want to put that out there, I already hear you guys in the crowd. <laughs> Also, we're on a budget. We can't afford luxuries like that. <laughs> because if we were allowed luxuries like that, I would have a uh, Ero Itachi hero right now. There's another unit you can consider. Uh, you can consider Chiriku over Umoi. Uh, you do give up the protection that you get from Umoi's uh, mystery, but uh, you get the resistance buff. And you know, he himself is immune, so you, help, you still technically get the three immune people. But ch with Chiriku, it's better if you did it as Earth. Not water. Because Omoi really is here because the water is a swordsman and uh, they can benefit from uh, each other's uh, buffs. But yeah, if you were doing an Earthly version of this, Chiriku would be better because then you can take the primary Lotus uh, and it would definitely. Chiriku would definitely be able to chase it. Do another Omoi? I. Yeah, yeah, you do, because when Roshi does his mystery, um, Chiriku will do his um, chase. And it won't waste Naruto's CC. So yeah, it will be perfect. It works out just fine. Um, you get the nice resistance buff. Though, you know, uh, Roshi doesn't get it, but you get two people who can actually take a, a good beatdown. And then for those who are interested, you could definitely do it with uh, Six Path Naruto. Uh, so you can do Rochi, Six Path Naruto, Chiriku, and uh, Earth Main. And you just take the Repulse to Knockdown Chase.
Yeah, the Demon Hunter. <laughs> I'm just double checking in my head. Uh, this is like the super, super classic, uh, Jinchuriki. And they seem to throw up auto. Oh yeah, that's where I messed up. I I, I pressed lineup damage up when I was fighting Shadow, wasn't I? <laughs> I was supposed to press the heal. Because I knew the fight was gonna last five rounds at least. I was supposed to probably do the heal or the resistance. That would have made a difference. Oh well. It's been too um built into me that I just press this damage up instead of anything else. But in, yeah, in a, a fight against someone stronger than me, I'm supposed to use either the resist buff or I'm supposed to take the heal if I feel like I can last long enough. So that's another uh, thing that people don't really always remember about Killer B. Killer B's buff not only gives you two attacks, it also makes it so your mystery cannot be interrupted. Uh, it's a neat little trick if you feel like you're slower than the enemy. You can take something like uh, B to help you not get interrupted. But obviously, you know, you have to be able to apply the buff first. So, oh, hey. Um, but yeah, so for uh, for that uh, idea for B, uh, it's always been a backup plan of mine if I ran into someone faster than me in like space time and I play Chaos Water, I would take B and then apply B's buff onto the water team. So, yes, I am slower than you, but you can't interrupt me. You know, with let's say Naruto, you would have to catch me with a CC. But you know, I'm not gonna not break uh, uh, Itachi, so I'm definitely gonna break out of it. Oh, this old boy is working hard today. He's catching all the perfect people. But yeah, so you would take B and you apply to Water me, so she can't be interrupted on her Shark Bomb. Uh, and then they have to CC you. But if you take a mirror, you send it back, and then uh, B's protection from interruption will mitigate the uh, attempt at stopping you. So you still get the shark off. Or when you enter a shark mirror match, and you're slower than the enemy shark, um, shark, you're slower than the enemy water main, you could do the same thing there, where you would take B and you apply it to yourself. Even so that you know you can cue it right away, even if she does drain your chakra, it's you know, you still queued it, and the only real way to stop you is for them to land the chaos. But at the same time, if you find a way to make yourself immune through, let's say, Sani and Tsunade, you would not you have an unstoppable shot bomb. But it's a it's a huge commitment. You just, you have to commit, you know, your two supports to pulling it off. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. But it's a really big commitment, like I said. Or, you know, you take a mirror, I guess. You use the mirror uh, uh, to just reflect the chaos back at them. Or, you know, the alternative is just, you know, simply bring uh, Boo, uh, you know, Boo's Beard, you mix the puppet, or you bring. Uh, Skill book Itachi and just reflect all the chaos back at them. Alright, let's go. Roshi. So we haven't did Roshi all day. This is the first time we use it for using his mystery. Eh, he didn't really take a beat down, so. Because uh, this is pure new. He doesn't scale on unless. Uh, Tai Jutsu game Jutsu. But at the same time, um, he's still ridiculously sturdy to the point that Naruto can't hurt him without a Kamariki hitting him. So, these two will definitely dodge. 
And Roshi just eats that. And just, he was like, okay, I'll scale it off. So, uh, this fight is gonna be a little long because, you know, it's six path Naruto, and I'm not playing a burst team. I'm playing a more sustained type of team. So this fight's gonna go long, but, you know, uh, if you want to be able to beat this guy on a budget, you know, you kind of have to do it. Alright, we're just gonna let him mystery us. Right, now we'll fire him. I don't know why I did the reverse before, where I did the uh, uh, mystery first and then do the standard. <laughs> I, I don't know, I think I, I, I just like brain farted and thought that Naruto's uh, standard hits harder than his mystery. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I completely... Yeah, I can't attack this person. It's kind of weird. Or else. Um, but yeah, I completely brain farted there. It was just like, uh... Huh. <laughs> okay, these three are more or less done. So yeah, you can see that uh, this team is not a super fast killing team, but you know, when you're on a budget, you really don't have a scene no matter. Because I'm pretty sure you know the objective is just simply, hey, let's win. Also, do notice that this team is actually not very strong of mine. Um, I'm actually like 10k underpowered right now. Uh, I'll show you guys afterwards. We have like a minute in here. What I mean that uh, it's kind of underpowered. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't see any more people that we can attack. Because this guy clearly, for some reason, can't attack because he's too far away <laughs> but he's right in front of me it's I don't know what to say about that anyways um, so yeah you can see it right here uh, this is 359k uh, my serious tab unit my team is 267k so yeah there's a big gap in power there Alright, so yeah, we're out of time. Um, I think we're like third or something. Not even. We're even less than third. Uh, yeah, the team kills not super fast, but it still uh, sends out the same message that I originally was talking about. It's about being sturdy. It's it, it's about you know, hey, I'm free to play. I I need a team that works and. This is one of them. You, it doesn't really cost anything to, you know, put together this. You know, you don't have to have super shiny units to win. You just need power. And power is gained through those coupons that you free-to-play players have to save up. And ninjas, you can use these. These are free. Um, but yeah, there's obviously upgrades to it <laughs> if you have, you know, the means to get the set upgrades. Like, you know. I easily do that. <laughs> the team looks so much better already. Or 
Yeah, I can just do it like that. And it looks pretty good. But yeah, so you guys who are free to play, you just need to just experiment with teams. Uh, don't always go look towards what everyone says is the best unit because it may be true, but at the same time, you have to consider how much of an investment you have to put into it because, you know, 20k coupons for a free-to-play player is a lot. It's a lot to give up. And that 20k could be invested into uh, power. So think about it carefully before you make a move. Uh, ideally, catch it when it's on a rebate because there are times where you should... You know, these top tier units do show up in like the Fukumaru, or they show up somewhere random where you can get them along with some power, like Lucky Board. Um, those are probably the best places for you guys to look for these type of units at. Alright, uh, so my Nine Tails is gonna start soon, so alright, this is the end of the video. Till next time, guys, have fun. Oh, also, don't forget to uh, vote. Um, that poll is kind of important? Not really. Uh, I'll just show you guys my points right now. I, before I uh, sign off. Where'd it go? Alright, so yeah, I have this many points. Uh, I think I can get enough frags to get the book. Uh, but if not, I'm gonna get, you know, this and probably the chart packs. So yeah, uh, make sure to vote, guys. Sorry, this time for sure. Uh, Till next time, have fun.